Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? I'm not telling you a goddamn thing. Okay, enough. You want to know who sent me? It's Coben. Andre Coben. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Coben want me dead? If I talk, he'll kill me. Drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know. Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired me to to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not going to tell him a damn thing. Die, you bastards! Die! Andre Coben, were you saying something about my daughter? Oh, God, no. I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you. They're not the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't get it, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Don't you see? They told me you were coming! Drop it, Fisher! Drop it down if you won't be hurt! Sam, you need to go with them. The hell I do. Please, you have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move hands in the That's air! It, Fisher. Don't let me nice easy! Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup, how very thoughtful of him. The answer is still no. He'd like you really shouldn't talk to Grim like that. Guards! Where the hell are my guards? It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. It's just hired help. God, you're thick. This is bigger than Reed, bigger than Third Echelon. They're, they're just convenient. So why does Reed want you out of town? Ugh. Your enhanced interrogation techniques oh. need work. Uh. Oh. Ah. Ah. 
He wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. There's three of them scattered around the city. In a few hours, they go off, and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs. Where do I find them? Say please. I don't know. That's part of the plan. You see? You can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for, this is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo, who are they? Try harder, Fisher. Ah. Megiddo. Who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this in one piece. And once Reed is finished at the one... Ah! That's all Reed now. Damn it. Over. I'm sorry, we're closing the office early for some routine maintenance. Please try again tomorrow. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid the office is closed for the evening. I'm here to see Tom Reed. Mr. Reed is currently unavailable, but if you'd like to make an appointment, Mr. Fisher, I used to work here. Security alert. Main power is offline. The emergency power will be online in five, four, Three, two, one, zero. Security doors are closing. Gobin. Look, Reed, this was part of the deal. Protection. Well, protect me. I'm telling you, he's here. You need to do something about it. Raise the security level. Do something. He's got... Nice to see you again. Look, Fisher, I can explain. Nobody's coming to save you this time, Henri. Now tell me, what the hell is Reed up to? Reed's working with Megiddo. He's using Third Echelon to get EMPs into the country. And sighted in DC. I, I help set it up. It's what I do. Why? What does Reed get out of this? The president. They're gonna take out the president after the EMPs go off. Paralyze the city. Use it as cover for the hit. Tonight. Why go after the president? I can't tell you! She won't play ball, but the VP is already in Megiddo's pocket. Reed gets a medal and a big fat promotion after it all goes down! That son of a bitch. Last question. This is the important one. What do you know about my daughter? If I tell you, you're gonna kill me! I don't know anything about her! Fisher! Like I said, they gave me a picture. Told me to provide a body that matched. I did a lot of jobs like that for Third Echelon. Anything they needed. Ask your friend Grim's daughter. I worked with her a bunch of times. She knows more about this than I do! Oh. Shut up. Uh, uh. Oh. 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 Still alive? Good. I think. What the hell is this? Oh. Tell me what I need to know, and I might not snap your neck. Fuck you. I'm not afraid of you, Fisher. 
wrong answer. That's a weaponized EMP over there. How do I shut it down? Don't know. I mean, if I did, I wouldn't tell you, asshole. Funny. Now, tell me what I need to know. I don't know anything else. Oh, I swear. Stop wasting my time. You don't know who does. Oh, scientist! Brought over by Prentice! Inside the warehouse! Oh, could it be disposed of after the EMP goes off? She knows! You don't say. shit off my shoes it was smarter than you fit you didn't run smart you don't get it do you you can't touch me i got protection i'm teflon so whatever you think you're gonna do to me mr has been mr rogue agent mr washed up spy we well, can forget about it right now because i'm bulletproof goddamn bulletproof you hear oh really Whatever it's worth, Sam, I am so sorry for everything. I thought we were in a hurry. Right. We need to get you close to Reed, and we need to do it in a way that doesn't make him double-tap the president immediately. Got any ideas? One. But it's gonna hurt. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. <laughs> Tom? I've got Fisher. I'm bringing him in. Don't do anything drastic until I get there. Sorry, Sam. You're going to the Oval Office. You've got to dress properly for the occasion. Hands? You comfortable? Ah, fuck. Get up. You've got an appointment with the President. All those years, you were lying to me. It was for the greater good, Sam. And I would do it again in a heartbeat, for the same reasons. Guess I never did know you. No, you didn't. And you still don't. <clears throat> I was wondering when you were gonna get here. Nice work, Anna. I see you got some payback in for the stun he pulled at the airfield. Well, he put up a little bit of a fight. Of course he did. And now he's here, the famous Sam Fisher, just in time to be useful. So how does it feel, Sam, knowing you're going to go down in history as the man who assassinated President Caldwell? Fuck you, Reed. Of course, we'll be just a little too late to rescue her. And you'll be shot multiple times trying to escape. It's classic, but it's clean. You don't honestly believe that this is going to work. The surveillance camera's footage is going to show. Your cameras, we own them. Your security measures, we made sure the Pulse fried them. We're third echelon, Madam President. We own every bit of information that goes through this town. And if I want to, I can make it look like you were assassinated by two circus clowns and a golden retriever. So shut up, and you might live a few seconds longer. <laughs> That's not third echelon. It's not Lambert's third echelon. Last time I checked, he was dead. And guess what? Third Echelon nearly died with Tom, him. Tom, 
You see, the president decided the agency wasn't justifying its funding anymore. She was going to shut us down, leave America vulnerable to the sort of attacks you... <laughs> Madam President, are you all right? Yes, I'm uh, fine. Thank you. Son of a... Uh, that was a close You've got call. maybe two minutes before the army takes back the White House. Make them useful. How did Megiddo get to you? You don't want to know about Megiddo. You want to know about your daughter. You don't get to talk about my daughter. You still don't get it, do you? Sir, it didn't matter. Threatening her was just a way to get to you. And leveraging you was a way to get to Third Echelon. And Third Echelon, that was a way to get what they wanted out of the White House. You're the mole. You're the one Lambert was worried about. Very good, Sam. You finally see. You son of a bitch! You cost me three years of my life. Three years when I thought my daughter was dead. Move! Move! Drop your weapon on the floor now! Captain, thank you for rescuing me. Now, I don't see anyone else here but us, and I'm sure you don't either. No, oh, ma'am. Let's get you out of here. Thank you. Oval office is secure. We have the president. POTUS is safe and secure. 